okay guys uh so this is what i will do now i'll connect my phone to my pc all right you know i export the work with sketchbook all right you can see the sound it's making all right so i'll come to my phone and then i'll click uh on this charging device via usb all right and then click on file transfer then to open up my device the one i'm using for sketchbook okay all right so what i will do now is to go inside this internet storage of my uh, phone okay and then i'll come to where i saved it which is my download and here is the work so i can even decide uh to copy or cut but i will not uh, allow to cut it okay so i'll just copy and then i'll come to my document here and i'll come to psd files okay so you can create the uh, the the file if you don't have it on your phone and i'll press on ctrl v or a right click and then i click on paste okay so control v mean paste okay so uh, just let it load up good so the purpose of my phone is done and then i can remove it now okay phone cannot be eject you can only remove the code or if you connect it through sender fine now i can decide to rename it here so that even if i have many of these files i will not mistook it okay so i will just write uh, yes so this is the name of the person all right and then what i will have to do now is to open up my photoshop and uh, you must understand that i use many different versions of photoshop i use photoshop cs5 i use cx6 and i use 2000, uh, uh, 2023 yes 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 so this is photoshop cs5 all right so you can use anyone don't worry it doesn't bother you at all so just come to the file and then you click on open if you click on new well it doesn't really necessary but just click on open or I'll click on control hold all right and then i'll come to uh, my uh, document okay and then i'll come to psd file and then i click on that file okay you can see that's open it up here you can see down here what well, there 49.0 mb and then i can choose the format i want it to open but because i want it as psd just leave it at all format okay and then you click on open now the work is open here okay hope you can see so even if sketchbook is stopping you i mean auto sketchbook is stopping you from creating new layers okay because as you can see let me show you on my sketchbook you discover that it can no longer create any new layer okay fine so if that's the case and you still wish to have some things to your pictures and all of that you can just bring it to your to your photoshop okay and then this is what you do you want to create a new layer if you want to create it on top just come to the uh top layer and then this is what you're going to do you come down with there can you see this and then you click on create a new group that is for group and then you can rename this group so that we know that okay this group is uh for for um the new layers i just created so you just double click with your left click on it and just uh write uh added layers okay all right oh sorry all right so you click on enter then you can open it up all right with this arrow with this it is closed and if you open it like this it is open okay now you can click on this create new layer now uh this particular one can you see it click on it and then if i close this you see that the layer also will close right so anything you want to do anything you have that uh, you want to input in this picture you can begin to input it now okay i can decide to if you want to zoom you can click on ctrl plus all right ctrl plus ctrl plus then it can zoom you see this now so it has a lot of pixels so for those of you who have been explaining about pixels to you and don't understand this is what i mean okay so you click on ctrl minus also to zoom out can you see this yeah so if you bring in your work from sketchbook and somehow you discover that uh, okay let me off this now and then you see that somehow the transparent background is displaying okay don't worry yourself what you just have to do is to come to that picture layer this particular one okay i'll click on ctrl j ctrl j is copied can you see this now so it's copied all right so i can still decide to merge it down can you see this yes yeah, so it's now one layer like this good so if it's still showing but let's read now i'm very sure it will not show good you see it's solved out now but if it's still showing with you 
you can click on Ctrl J, you can duplicate it as many times as possible and you keep, continue to click on uh, merge down. Alright, and then you can decide to rename the layers. And then once you're done, you just come here to your files. Uh, I mean, once you're done, you've added anything you want to add, okay, just come to this file and then you click on export. Okay, you can, uh, well, <laughs> you can export, uh, render video, all of that, but really, I don't use that. I'll just click on Ctrl S or Ctrl Shift S. Ctrl Shift S means save as, okay, it should be here. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Ctrl Shift, uh, Shift Ctrl S or Ctrl Shift S. Okay, that is to save as, but if you click on Ctrl S, you see it's just gonna save, okay? So let's click on Ctrl Shift S or Shift Ctrl S, any of the two, okay? And then uh, it's still matte cam, but it's like a PSD here, so I can change it to any format I want. Uh, and I'm very sure possibly you want this as a JPG, okay? So here it is. You just click on it and then you click on save. That after you're done. So the quality, you can leave the quality at 8 and all of that. Just put it on anything you want and then you click on OK. You see it's loading. Then if I come to my files, I can assure you I'm going to see it there. 